rampaging through a laboratory, explosions ringing out. And now, some new guests. We know that it's not going to be so easy to shut down the project, but can something be done about it? So much pain and suffering has been caused so far to these clones, and it's not going to stop. Not just yet. But, let's see just how much of this building is left at the end of this episode. Out of all the scenes we could have been shown, the torn apart dolls was probably the most horrifying. So with them not you know, transferring the sisters and they're still undergoing the, the, the process. It means you can probably get like one or two out. But it's like a warehouse of them. I'm trying to think if there's a specific reason why it was giving us shots of like general public along with that that sentence. Still a uh, almost full cup. Radio noise plan, level six shift plan. And two more that I didn't get the name of. I mean, sure, because it is her DNA and her acceptance of that deal right at the beginning kind of put this all in motion. <laughs> and... That would be... It's going to get cold. But you can't go out without the trusty lab coat. If she's going to go sleuthing, then having a the correct uniform. Or... Outfit. Even if all of the labs get taken down and the experiment gets put on hold while they, you know, reconstruct more or relocate. It doesn't change the fact that, you know, you're not changing anything else about it. Like, the scientists themselves aren't going to see the experiments in a different kind of light. Or is it now that we're seeing the characters that are being shown off in the intro and actually a bit more battle scene it's kind of like what we've been missing for quite a while do you think they would get paid less for all of the damage caused
the fact that uh, she realised that she had completely met her match there. I'm picking up her berry. <laughs> Is the extra money always worth it? Not even so much as a hello. But they are, you know, targeting her life. Did it look like she blocked it? it looked like she tore it apart on a molecular level. And use it's like a blender made of light. But using things that we've seen so far of how she's used her powers. A phone? What was that? When she like caught it, it kind of sounded like it was uh, like a pill case or something. Imagine being a totally legitimate scientist, one just wanting to do your day job and go home. I probably can't give anyone here the benefit of the doubt. Well. Stylish. Has she regained? Ah, it was. Has she regained the ability to talk yet? That was creepy. The one, the quiet ones are the ones you have to look out for. <laughs> I mean, kind of successful, but... Is she, is she like a, a tracker? After fighting so many battles in succession there. They seem rather on point for a guess. I mean, to be dodging kind of unknowable attacks that just melt through, melt down walls themselves. Thanks for the exposition. What happens when she runs out of level five? What happens if they, when she runs out of pills? Uh, 
I'm sure they are very glad to be able to hear your voice again. And what happened to the other one? You know, the, the one in the hood. Is she going to catch up to uh, Miss Sucker later? When she's rounding in like a corner thinking she's gotten away. That one still needs its hair cut. If you can forcefully inject information and knowledge into your brain, then there's... What's the point of schools? Interesting. Kind of goes back to what that other researcher was talking about right, right when we started this whole thing. It's like giving them a sense of shame, but do you want them to have emotions? Hopefully. But after they're so ingrained, I doubt that they'd uh, really change their mind. Interesting thought, it's quite idealised. At this point, would that work against Accelerator? I mean, he was fighting against the original without really thinking about it. Ah, there she is. And she uh, can't really apply her tranquilizer or anything in this position. You know, if she's still carrying it. So, even more is getting put out there. Who's this one making these amazing predictions? <laughs> Until they all get used up, ran out, got to run around laying some more tape. With her power fluctuating because she's you know, using too much, is that going to help or hinder this tracking? Who are those guys? They don't look like lab assistants. Well, the, the project is an issue as well, but... It depends on how many people, version clones there are. Just injecting them all into society might raise some eyebrows. But there is a... Uh,
setting a limit and how much you need to worry about that, considering they are being systematically killed. She's typing a lot. Why are you just letting it happen? Nice. But from kind of what we've seen so far, there aren't that many that have full emotions or it's not being shared via the network. That would be why. Superior unit. Is that why I read? Last order. It was a nice attempt. Leaving himself wide open. And how do they feel about just having a firearms point of them, considering they've got... They're going into these missions where they're taking down people they don't know how dangerous they are. And she's not really flinching. That was slightly pulled off target, so what shot... Didn't shoot past her. Useful. Just having like unprecedented defense would be useful. Keep your eyes on the job at hand then. <laughs> You know, don't ask questions about who you're working for or what you're doing. You don't have to worry about ethics or morals, then. And that half-drunk cup of tea back in her office. No matter how many years that waits... She's faltering. There's only so long that she can keep it up. <coughs> Just wave away the pain. I... <sighs> I always find it funny when they they explain things like this, like it's the first time that they are talking about it to someone, but it's their own internal thoughts. She's also backed into a corner and has uh, a lot of weight on her shoulders and something that she needs to do. He. I mean, there's tape running under her foot there.
just cut off all means of escape. Crumble and break every room that she can escape to. So she can uh, redirect it. Since she did it before. Let's. Let's uh, reverse engineer that. We have someone who's almost dead on their feet. And one that is still suffering from... I'm not actually sure. I was going to say paralysis, but I don't know what this is meant to be. So she is going to let the others go back and recuperate and face her head on. Does she flinch? Is that the kind of dy dynamic they have? There's something weird afoot. When someone changes their personality, you know something's about to happen. She wants the fight herself. Okay. Is that the... Is that the personality that uh, they were expecting? Yeah. Intense. did say that the aim hunter whatever she was called and then her was a level five level four team so of course this one is going to want to uh, prove herself against another level five especially the uh, ace But will that hubris and ambition be the downfall of her? Yes. And... Now that that one has been captured, been taken away, is there anything left for her to do or a way out? Or is she going to be held hostage for a story at a later point? But you know, if her plan there was, oh, it's not, it's not a one-on-one, -on -one, it's not a fair fight. Sure, but she's also been out for several days on the road, not really sleeping, Exhausted after fighting several battles consecutively. And also slightly injured and low on power. Yeah, this uh, definitely seems like something to write home about if she wins. But also now that Miss Hucker knows that uh, bending those meltdowners, green ray light of destruction, is possible, she's probably going to have to come up with new ways of attacking. Kind of like how... Our electric girl can stick to walls, throw flooring around, have the iron magnet, magnetic dust in the air. Oh, and let's not forget her signature 
railgun. I just hope that everyone else, while this whole debacle is going down, you know, Udiharu and the others are sleeping well, getting a rest after being so comforted in their last like group meeting to the uh, restaurant. Also, an important thing, I don't know if it's meaningful or not, or if I'm just drawing my own conclusions, but that emotion upload didn't affect the network. But did it affect Last Order? Because, you know, compared to the others, she is very hyperactive. Then again, it could be due to her age and never being put through that uh, that helmet thing herself. But with many pseudo-lives on the line, this isn't a fight to falter. And our railgun is going to have to find her footing and strike back or escape. Escape also sounds good, but make sure to be there because there's a few episodes left. It's definitely going down. So, if you like this one, let me know. Leaving a like and a comment on videos really helps the channel, and subscribing to the channel keeps you updated on future uploads. But if you don't, that just means I need to do better. So, until the next time, get some rest. See you in the next one. My patrons are the pills to be taken before each and every event to make sure we are at peak condition. And though I may not have clairvoyance, I know that at least we can enjoy some anime. So I need to thank Sal, Electricant, Arvia, Noku, Raywin, Shiwan, Mecha, Matt, Stinsfire, Jennifer Rojas, Gurley, 1234W, Kite, Salty Drawn, Cardboard, Dark Shadow, 7899, Jim Ace, Maurizio Lascano, and everyone else. Because without them, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say I would be floundering. So, thank you for keeping me on my feet.